Yo, 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 yo. <clears throat> my bag, my bag, y'all. My bag, people. Shit was fucking up for a second. I don't know what the fuck was that. Shit was acting crazy. Let's put the disclaimer up. Wait for the guest to pull up. Know what that was, man. Y'all got to pardon me, though. Pardon me for that. Pardon me, y'all. Sorry about that. See what my guess said. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to get ready to talk to y'all niggas, man. Cause I know I ain't got a long time. But we gonna we gonna we gonna definitely put this in. We're gonna wrap this one up right here. I'm about to go, I'm about to go in, man. I gotta go, I gotta talk. I got the disclaimer up here because I gotta get this going right now. Just to just so people don't like wait, get offended with what's about to happen. But I got to be honest to the people. I got to be honest to the culture right now. My fault. I, I, some te technical difficulties, bro. StreamYard Talk, they had this new shit going. I don't know what just happened. A lot of the stuff was freezing, wasn't showing up. I don't know what happened, bro. Kind of lost. Yeah, through all, through, yeah, threw the fans off, threw things off for a second. I didn't really like it. But we want to talk, though. As y'all can see, this is what this conversation is about. Homecoming, murder move versus New Jersey twerk. Now, the only problem I got with this is where the fuck is Briz at? Where the fuck is you at, Briz? We seen you hugged up with smack, nigga. All that shit you talked about, these niggas. Where the fuck is you at, my nigga? Shit. Why is we getting this shit? And I ain't meaning to say it like it's shit. Because I, I, I got to be honest, they are two talented, you know, battle rappers. Yeah, they are talented, but that's the problem. We know they talented. But is we paying for the name? Or we paying for really a good battle or style clash? It ain't got, it ain't got nothing to do with it. It got to be about exposing the nigga. But is this really what the culture want right here? I just got to be honest. I'm not excited, my nigga. I ain't me saying either. twerk don't deserve mook, but twerk don't deserve mook to me. I mean, I feel if you want to get technical, easy probably deserve twerk more. I mean, deserve mook more than twerk right now. But in all honesty, though, I don't see this battle being one of them great battles like, like oh, this is what the coach have been waiting for. <laughs> this don't excite me like that. I'm a little fucking baffled by this shit, bro. I don't know if this P doing. I mean, Smack could have dropped this shit when he said, "Let it be known he is fucking with Mook again, bro." Ain't that fucking exciting to be top secret about? I feel like I'm paying for the name literally, and then this is why I get mad at some of these media motherfuckers. At because then you have Vada fucking ass. Oh yeah, nigga, because I heard your bitch ass crying. Talking about you dogged your nigga SP, nigga, your side piece. You shitted on that little nigga. Because he loves copying all the fucking battle rap events. You shitted on that little nigga, nigga. Played him like, yeah, he a groupie fuckboy. But you is too, nigga. Because you don't really want to watch this battle. But you want the views and the monetization and the money, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about the dollars, nigga. I don't give a fuck about the dollars. <laughs> I'm here to tell y'all niggas what's real and what the fuck the culture need, nigga. And we need great battles. This is bullshit right here. You ain't about to pay for this shit. You're going to make the little nigga pay for it. And bum off him, nigga. You don't want to pay for this shit. But the sad part about it is, even media ain't going to be real with you niggas. Because they all in for fucking content and views too. They ain't going to tell you niggas where y'all going wrong at, nigga. Nah. That nigga know he don't like this shit. He know this match don't even make no fucking sense. He just lost to Jazz. And when Twerk and Geechee was on the billboard together, look who passed, look who surpassed the nigga, man. Smacking him almost stopped messing with Twerk due to his choking endeavors, man. He just had to get his shit back together. So at another biggest moment of his career, the biggest moment of his life, like it was with Geechee, when he did that foul shit to Norbs, what happened? He stunk the whole place up. They felt almost embarrassed for putting the nigga on the billboard with Geechee. 
He choked like a motherfucker. Now we know he's gonna try to prep his ass. Off. But it's a hope hopefully no last minute shit and no no stealing either, nigga. See, we talking now shit that these niggas ain't gonna fucking say. But I'm supposed to spend my motherfucking money. Take my time away from my bitch and her good pussy. And my happiness with my fucking children to sit back and watch this shit. And Briz, I'm a I'm a I'm a little surprised at you. Cause Briz, you look like you need some fucking money right now, too, nigga. Now I know smacking them ain't get twerk number about 25 bands, maybe some, some shit like that. 30. And they get 50 or 60. We know this. Moo got the bigger bag of the book. You understand? We definitely, we definitely know this. But the problem is, it don't even, it, it's not just that. It's not just, other battle rappers feel a way too about how the shit going nowadays. Nigga, Goods ain't even feeling battle rap right now. You see Goods really feeling this match. I know niggas want to talk about it because they want to get monetization. They want to make money off of y'all names. See, even URL ain't stupid. They know it's y'all names that's selling. It's not the fucking battles. All these niggas want to say your names is just for monetization and for money. Nothing else. Nothing else. Oh, he say he heard Mook versus Twerk, Geechee versus Sirius Jones so far. It's supposed to be all Harlem type card. So Lux versus Shine or Clips or might be. I can see that. But you know, Geechee and Sirius make more sense than this shit. Daddy. Yeah. Geechee and Sirius make more sense than this shit. Let's be honest. Geechee and Sirius make more sense than this shit. Uh -huh. This do not make no sense. I'm sorry. And to be honest with you, niggas, if Mook was to battle somebody, wouldn't you niggas have liked to just see Mook battle a nigga like? Okay. First, we're going to start up with some prominent names like Hitman Holler. That, that sound like that would have been a good one. What about Murder Mook versus Hitman Holler? Oh, oh, better yet, what about Murder Mook versus Hollow the Don that been, you know, been in the making for some years? You understand? That been in talks for some years, man. What happened with that? But this is for y'all. Because we see you scared, Briz. We see you scared, man. You ain't built for this. So you know what? I got something better for y'all. How come they didn't just book Murder Mook versus T-Top? I know that shit just threw y'all off for Ali. Why the didn't they just God. book Murder Mook versus T Top? The angle guy. T Top is active, and he's part of the uh, the, 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 the the you know allegedly the altercation. T Top probably have a lot to say. Why didn't they book Murder Mook versus T Top then? I think the culture would have been more pleased with that. <laughs> Than a New Jersey twerk. I just don't see what the styles clash <laughs> that in here. I don't. Even that style. <coughs> even that sound. Excuse me. Even that style clash make. More I sense. see. It make way more sense than New Jersey twerk than some murder fucking move. Yeah, they they gonna angle. Niggas is just down. only paying for a fucking name. And they got some. You understand me? You see how yeah, exactly you you feel me? You feel me? What, what, what is they got a lot to talk about. The culture would have loved to see that. What is what is twerk gonna say? To a move bunch of fucking what is nothing. Gonna say to twerk? That shit gonna be like a Reed Dollars versus fucking Mook. Born and fucking niggas gonna fall asleep. The only history I know, and I could be wrong, that T -top twerk, the only history I, I could be wrong, the only history that Mook and Twerk got is when Twerk was on Hip Hop is Real saying that uh he really no, wasn't feeling got no history. D, 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 nice. D nice, I swear to God, it ain't even a point of angle in that shit. It's no history. Niggas, if they know it's New Jersey Twerk, it's Murder Mook.
They feel the fans gonna buy into that shit alone. This battle has have no fucking point of at all. I'd rather see goods versus you feel me in the blue room. <coughs> hey, bro, you think they you still there? Yo. The hood. Facts. Turk versus T Top will be fire. I mean, my bad. Mook versus T Top. Bro, you muted. Goods feel bad rap. Right? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You was, muted. you was muted for a second. We weren't hearing nothing. What was you saying? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it's the it's the weather, you, bro. It's the weather. The yeah, weather before, before fucked you put, up. Before you before you just put the oh. John John and um Easy Fire up, we weren't hearing nothing that you were saying. What was you saying? Yeah, I know, cause the, the the weather, the wet the weather fucking with my shit over here. It's raining and weather fucking with my technology. But this is this battle looking a more fucking tasty than goddamn Mook and John John. I mean Mook and uh twerk. They got twenty five k on the floor. I got a feeling the trenches and the bullpen shit about to go. This shit got a lot more feel to it now. You know, Easy been listening to me. Easy, my son, man. I don't mind looking out for that nigga. It's a little alley oop for Easy. You might have just over succeeded URL's card with you and John John shit now, my nigga. Because y'all buy y'all bad looking a lot more enticed and, and, and more more live with the 25k on the floor. It's looking like something more to tune into than this shit right here we got. But most of all, what people fail to realize is this, though, bro. Picture how Goods feel about battle rap. Listen to Goods. The reason I say that is because I have it. It's like when I come on, it, it, it be spaced out, right? So I probably come on like once a week now. I've been noticing that. And it's because of the title. Stuff just been dead. Like, just hear me out. I want to just talk for a minute. Because this stuff I've been thinking about, right? Stuff just been dead. Like, battle rap been dead. Um, It's good telling y'all niggas, man. Battle rap ain't what it is no more. He ain't feeling it. So you think he's really feeling Even though he, like I said, niggas is only talking about it for monetization and money. They only want money. The same like niggas is really like gun ho. This is the the hottest battle of the year. Goods really feel like battle rap is is slowly is dying. It's more though. Listen, we talking about not talking about but the stuff that's to talk about. It ain't really nothing to talk about. It's just it been battle rap been dead to me. Is it me or do y'all feel the same way? I mean, you tell me. You feel me? You tell me. This is good talking. And you don't think that... See, I don't know if P has something to do with putting no matches together, bro. Because that right now, that Mook and Torque just not reason to me. And I'm surprised that media niggas is not, like, letting it be known, like, if the culture gonna keep moving like this, this culture is headed for destruction. This shit is headed for failure. They cannot keep booking matches like this. What the fuck is the scouts doing? I just gave y'all three prominent names that URL could have moved off on. They could have made that card start off with looking a lot more hotter than what the fuck it is. Hey, Ness, hey, Ness, hey, hey Ness, shout out to D Hood, man. He said, facts, I want to see Mook versus T2. Oh, yeah, I know. He see, that's a crazy battle. It's a crazy look. That shit would have shook the culture up. Briz, he's scared. Let his man fight for him. 
and that that angle, they both angle, man. That will be a classic, bro. A classic. Yeah, and it's fucked up that the, and it's fucked up the scouts couldn't see this. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell ARP this. You wanna take AR, you wanna take you out this fucking year? Book that Geechee fucking book book that Geechee versus Hitman Holler. Book that Geechee versus Hitman Holler. You will see pay-per-view sales, you'll see numbers, you'll see viral shit going on in the culture, like the easy and uh Geechee battle. Flat out. Because URL didn't do their homework right. They wanted to go out with a banger, and they went out with a motherfucking hand with, with, with a handshake. Flat out. This was just a, this was just a this was something for them to just make some ticket sales and get some quick money off the table. It ain't like they cared about the culture when they thought about booking this battle, bro. I feel like I don't think they was thinking about the culture when they booked this fucking battle. And this is why I say the, the fucking media has to go because they're not going to tell y'all when it's a fucked up battle being made. And then our money supposed to still invest in this shit right here. I'm not supposed to. I'm not going to pay for bullshit. And I don't care if you're just a battle rapper. I'm not going to pay to go see a Devin Haney pay-per-view if he's going to fight a fucking bum-ass nigga. Flat out. I'm going to call Devin Haney out for what he is. Nigga, you scared. You hand-picking your opponents. I ain't fucking with you. This is hand-picked. This is hand-picked. I don't know. I don't understand, like, if people have been pushing for Mook versus Briz for like the last three, four years, why wouldn't T Top be your next? Like that's just the light bulb. Like man, he to me, Briz too. He was there. Like why wouldn't that hit your head? All right, just put T Top in there with him. I mean, it's common sense, bro. It ain't gotta be there. about Briz and Mook. It ain't gotta be about Briz and Mook. At this point, people don't even believe in Briz no more. It's like now, Briz, we might even want to see you up there just to die, nigga. When niggas was giving you 50% chances, nigga, on that, you might have some shit. You really might have some on Mook, and you can make this battle, like, really shake different. I don't believe it now, nigga. You can hey, wait you know going tomorrow. Make it even crazier, though? If they had this T-Top and Mook locked in and Briz stood behind T-Top, that would even just make it even more fun. I would take that. I would take that, bro. I take it. Come that, on, man. Give me T Top and Mook and Bria standing behind T. I take that. Come on, man. I ain't mad for nothing. I'm mad for a fucking reason. I'm not gonna settle for this. Right now, Easy and John John looking like the one. This shit is definitely over twerking murder Mook's battle. And I fuck with Mook. I'm a fan of Mook. But I just don't like the opponent they giving this nigga, bro. <laughs> I ain't saying twerk whack. Twerk is dope. But this is not Twerk's battle, and it's not the time for this battle for Twerk right now. I have to be honest, man. This ain't the time for this battle for Twerk right now. It's just not. <coughs> I'd rather see Twerk and Easy before. I'd rather, listen, I'd rather see Twerk and Easy before Twerk and Mook, man. To be honest. I'd rather see that before that. And my thing is, if he was about to take this battle, if it was already locked in, why take the jazz battle? Why even take that start caffeine uh embassy starter battle? Like why why take it for that look? Well we all know Twerk been out for the money, man. You know, he, he used to run off on deposit. So if you anything URL to send this nigga, obviously he's gonna take that shit. And you know, now, Beasley is the now, one that had to now my mind is wondering though, Niz, because it's like when you book a big battle like this. You pay them big Man, money listen. so they can. You pay listen. them big money so they can sit down for two to three months and focus on their opponent. So me thinking like this is this a money grab. Ever. This got to be this a money payday. grab. Why are you not sitting down? To it ain't about that. Make more sense. Because it's not about none of that, bro. This shit is about it's Christmas coming. It's the easy paycheck. You know. Both of these niggas can just rap some shit. It ain't like they got to really, like, this, this is some bullshit, man. I just got to be honest, man. It's like, this is just a quick Christmas check. They selling it off of the names. It's nothing 
It ain't a, it ain't even about history. It's just nothing there. And we got to quit giving matches chances that don't have shit there with it. Book it's like boxing. They they book the fighters according to their resume. To their shit. This don't fit that description, man, at all. And and we have to be honest. You, you, we have to be honest. You can even tell by the way the media niggas talking about it. They not too excited. They fake exciting the shit. And it's it's corny. I gotta be totally real. It's it's fucking whack. And this is why battle rap is fucking dying. You know, you know why else it's corny, bro, niggas? And we gotta really be honest, bro. Ten years ago, if you lost a battle, you're not getting no big name. We got to bring that back, bro. You cannot lose a battle and then go get a big name. Where's the motivation at? That's no, that's nothing to motivate you to win a battle if you know I'm about to lose this and get a big name, bro. Ten years ago, and the sad the part about and battle rappers they self would not let this fly. And that's why I say you are ill good for doing that because they they try to think. <clears throat> let me tell you something. My cousin Boogie Knight, man, from Poetic Hustler, man, that he used to be a part of that. You know, the Bone Thugs and Harmony, East 99, that, that whole group and shit. I remember when the nigga came back from a uh, tour with Bone in there, man. The nigga told me, he said, yo, Nez, man, you'd be surprised at how many motherfuckers are fucking just for your name alone. How many bitches and shit like that. Battle rap ain't no different from the actual industry and shit. When you get a name out here, you can go to the bathroom and scratch your ass. These motherfuckers gonna cheer and hip-hop parade you and shit like a Naughty by Nature song. It's disgusting. These niggas don't stand by no morals or principles no more once they name become something. That's why we seen Big T live for so long before battle rappers had to come out and say it they felt like boy is really trash. I don't even know why y'all be booking this nigga. Why y'all keep having us battle this nigga? The fans was just buying into the name and shit like you just hyping up Big T. Not his bars. Not his style. None of that shit. It's just the name. And this is and right I where hate, we at I with this guy. Say that because at one point, niggas didn't want to see niggas ain't want to see Tuna, bro. Exactly. The deuce behind your head, like the bunt man, he had some the bunny ear line. He had some shit, but he. I mean, I mean, he's coming not the same. up, got to be honest, he's not the same. He yeah, man, come, coming up, yeah, coming up age, bro. You know, he had a fair good battle with, and I'm gonna say his last battle was with Shotgun Shook. And K Shine slipped on him. But really, Big T don't be having no crazy shit. He ain't one of them. Like, it's just not, bro. It's just not. Some of these niggas really have it, have it. Some of these niggas don't. I ain't saying Twerk don't have it. I ain't saying Mook don't have it. But then these battles really still do got to make sense, bro. I don't give a fuck what name you have. It has to make some kind of sense, though. At the end of the day, we got to be buying into something. Not just your name, bro, because that's the case. They can both just rap and leave. What that lead the fans, though? What do that leave us to take home, too? You see what I'm saying? They can just rap, get their check, and go the fuck home. But what do that leave us? Do that leave us replay value? Do that leave us quotables for the next few months and years? You understand? Do that touch higher media platforms? Do that touch higher celebrities? They co-sign that shit. Like, let's 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 let's, let's use Jazz, Jazz and Vixen. That battle not just made sense, but they was both in the peak and prime of their shit. That shit touched people like Fabulous, bro. You had Fabulous tweeting, nigga. I fuck with Jazz, nigga. You understand? Know like, when when you get them type of battles, bro, that shit impacts the world. So Smack with the name they have. With the great name they have, they know they main event supposed to be attracting the world. They know they supposed to pull not just faces but names out alone. You understand? Like we should see celebrities saying like, "Oh, this battle lit! I can't wait to watch this shit." I ain't talking about Gerald McCoy. He a battle rap fan like we are. I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about the niggas that like step in and we don't even know be watching this shit. You feel me? So this is why I say what I say. Like, good said battle rap dying. 
We see Easy and John John got 25K on the floor. That main event looking more enticeful than twerking and Mook. Let's be honest. Now I see URL try to, you know, take his limelight. Then I tell you they do shit like that. The minute Easy and John John shit drop, what he do? Smacking them, drop this New Jersey twerking murder Mook. But the problem is, Easy, you can thank me later for this. This shit ain't override in John John and Easy shit, though. They shit got way more sauce to it still, though. They didn't do shit, but just help they shit. Because now people can, can compare it and see, like, well, that don't really make too much sense. This over here, though, it got a little more feel to it. Well, man, I mean, come on, let's let's be honest. What battle you think they going to tune into more? And when Easy and John, and John John get the promotion going, they start talking their shit again. How you think this is going to look, bro? I don't see no shit talking from Mook and Twerk. I see Twerk looking up to Mook. I hear one of them speech. No, I look up to you, bro. I ain't going to lie. You one of the one of the ghosts. I, I watched you all my life. I hear that. I hear that, B. I just, I'm just calling it for what it is. People can get mad. We just gave y'all a, a couple of battles that Mook could have had took that would have lit the culture up still. And I think it would have looked at, had a better look for URL. He could have battled Hitman Holler. Hitman said he never was going to battle on URL. They just got to come to the nigga right. They come to him right. Y'all get Hitman over there. He never said he won't battle on URL again. It could have took Hollow to die. To make the match even more tasteful, they could have booked T-Top. They could have booked fucking T-Top. That one right there, that T-Top and Mook, bro, that would go so crazy. But we know P had his hands in this because he put another DMV nigga up there. I told y'all, nigga, DMV niggas run URL, man. Long as P is in there, that's the P shit y'all gonna get. That's the that's the piss ass shit y'all gonna get right there. That type of shit right there. P big URL like yo, we should put twerk on there. Twerk a big name. URL was smart. They was rolling with Mook regardless. They going back to New York. They knew what they had to do. They never should have put no fucking twerk up against that nigga. That was fucking stupid. That was fucking stupid. That was fucking stupid. That was fucking dumb. I don't even want to see Drake battle. I'd rather see Mook and Drake before that shit. That was stupid, though. That wasn't no smart fucking booking, man. I said it. Because ain't none of these niggas going to say it. How they really feel. Knowing that they know the same shit I'm saying and feel the same way I feel. But these these media niggas not going to say this shit. They're going to kiss the bandwagon. They're going to jack them niggas' dicks off. Like Lil Wayne said on that, that Benny the Butcher cut. They a bunch of cocker spaniels over there. Dirty dogs. And I'm going to be honest, Nez. It just feel like, and I could be wrong, but my feeling is like, the way y'all announced it, like it was gonna be such a big battle, and who he battled was gonna be such a big drop. It just feel like y'all ain't put no thought into it. Like it was just thrown together. Like, well, let's just Man, that's go was do, let's just go on, go ahead and do Mark Mook and um Twerk. They're gonna bring they, they big names. Let's just throw them in there. Like it just wasn't no thought. Like it was just thrown together. Like nah, it sure was, bro. That's why I knew when they did that with murder mook on that cover that 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 that, that, that uh flyer. With the question mark, I said this all for promotional shit. URL trying to get the fans just to rally in and you know still hold on to him for dear life, hoping something was gonna come out of that. And when him shit smack was smart, he brought Briz on the camera, make it look like they cool, make the people think oh, it's the possibly it's possibly Briz. I knew better than that shit. But what he was doing, he was trying to show that Briz looking like he hungry out here, looked like he needs some money. I seen a lot of people. Type in and saying that like yo, Briz look like he hurting out here now. You know, all them niggas started getting new jewelry, new, 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 new clothes. You know, you, you see the accessories. You know, from that, they, they getting their little URL money now. 
He the only one look like his shit slowed up. I know he joined the nation of Islam. So like I said, man, we just paying it to some names, man. We not paying it to a battle for real. Y'all niggas know when y'all paying it to a good ass battle. That shit get talked about by the media and everybody for weeks and months. This is not one of them. They're going to hurry up and drop the rest of this fucking card. Trust me. This ain't it. Sorry, smack. Sorry, y'all. This shit is not it. This not it. I'm sorry. This not it. Right now, this is it. This is it right now. This is fucking it right now. 25K on the floor. How bad you fucking want it? I said it. This battle is going to override Mook and Twerk shit. The boys know what they're doing. Smack, you tried to fuck over Lil Easy. But Lil Easy and John John came back with a power plan, nigga. They got one now. And the culture is tuned the fuck in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, they got some shit to say to each other, though. They got a lot of shit to say to each other. And I like the way it's going right now. Like John John said, I'm going to talk with this nigga. And I don't like him. And I know how easy playing this shit. Yo, fuck the boy. Yo, it is what it John is. Yo, I got some shit to say. John John going to Philly to battle easy is way more enticing than Twerk going to New York to battle Mo. Talk crazy, man. Talk crazy. With 25K on the flow, y'all telling me this URL, Caffeine, Mook versus Twerk is overriding this shit right here? Coming up? Get the fuck out of here. Y'all better be worried about what the fuck ARP got up his sleeve next. He could have that Geechee and fucking Easy closing out. I mean that Geechee and Hitman closing out. Pardon me. Watch this motherfucker right here. He is real fucking crafty. ARP might just smack you niggas with that hitman and get you on the way to going out this motherfucker. And then I'm going to have to say, y'all you can really fuck hang it up. Y'all is definitely not number one no more. I thought what y'all had up y'all sleeve would keep y'all in the rankings and keep y'all still there. Now you motherfuckers really got to push the motherfucking URL app niggas out now. Y'all really better push Bandit Montana the fuck out right now. Y'all really need that boy right now. Y'all really better push him, Giannis, and Dice right now. If you niggas is smart, y'all falling the fuck off. And y'all trying to save face by buying fans. I'm going to say it. This battle is to just buy fans. It's not to please the fans. Get a culture what it needs. Y'all are here to buy fans. That's it. Yo, I can't sell it. This shit sell itself, man. I ain't gonna roll these niggas up too long. They see what the fuck I said, what I had to say. I ain't happy about this shit. No, I fuck around, won't even fucking buy this pay-per-view. Flat the fuck out. And my man on the phone. So I ain't about to do no buy the fly shit and shit on my man on the blog for the world. He can't speak up for himself, you broke-ass nigga, since he gotta buy all the pay-per-views. I'm gonna tell my man right now, D nice. I don't know about copying that shit. I might be copying easy and John John shit. I might. Copy I'm telling easy you now. John John too, man. So when you say yo, Ned, we gotta sit back and watch this shit, bro. I'm gonna say yo, yo. I don't know about. I might cop easy and John John, bro. I might go in and put some money in my son's pocket. Let him go get him some new sneakers or something. Fuck them <laughs> niggas right now. You feel me? They robbing niggas. I ain't with it. I ain't sucking a dick for a name, man. No, they gonna suck my dick for this money if they want it. I'm the fucking pimp. I'm the fucking player. Them is the hoes. And they put the best hoes on, on the track. So I ain't paying for that shit. I ain't paying for that shit, man. Real pimp shit right here. Easy and them got that bag on the floor. That's like a strip club. They got 25K on the floor. I'm over there. I'm over there. I'm over there. They got 25K on the floor. 
that's gonna be a different feel in there. Oh, no. that's gonna be a different energy in that battle. No, take it out. Mook and Twerk gonna be too much laughy, laughy, play, play shit. I ain't with it, man. And Mook, you can't talk too crazy to a nigga like, like him. He ain't. I mean, come on, man. That's Twerk. What you gonna say? He stole a woman pocketbook. We heard. What you gonna say? He a church nigga. He run off on deposits. We heard. Y'all ain't got shit to talk about, bro. And I ain't got no money for y'all niggas. Y'all can't sell this shit. This shit sell itself, man. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Comment, tell me what the fuck y'all niggas think. Yo, D Knight, talk to him, man. It's looking crazy, man. I'm just here so you can talk your shit, bro. But it's D Nice, man. Find me on Twitter. Nothing intangible comes easy, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, B. I had to, to just speak it, my piece. They need to fix it. They need to fix it. I, I got to be honest to the culture. This is what the culture love us for, our honesty, our brutal honesty at that. We ain't going to do like the rest of these media niggas do, try to save face. I don't care if you are ill, none of them niggas call my phone or none of that shit, man. I need good battles. I pay good money. What the fuck these niggas thought? ARP, I'm telling you right now, go book that easy. I mean, that Geechee. Go book that Geechee and hit me and holler. Take you all the fuck out of here at the end of the year. I'm telling you right now, nigga. Don't fuck around. And go to get your failure. Go to get. Nitty, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. This is important, D Nice. Oh, ARP, go get your million view battle that first week by booking that Geechee versus Hit Me and Holler. Go get your million view YouTube battle view that first week. Off that geeky versus hitting that holler back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. URL don't know how to book battles right. They're supposed to go over and under for that Briz and Mook. They stopped at twerk. I'm done. Yours, Mr. 1080p Sony HD pay pay motherfucking view, y'all. Floyd Mayweather the season, nigga. I can't. Yo, I can't. I ain't coming for half, nigga. I'm coming for the whole goddamn thing, nigga. You heard? Y'all heard me and my nigga nice, man. Get this shit right, man. We're tired of paying for bullshit battles. Bullshit content. I can't sell it. This shit sell itself, man. I'm out, man. Holla back. It's your motherfucking boy, nigga. Shit.